All right, we finally made it to the chases, the Phoenix Five. But you only have four. Yeah, I, I did not pull an Emma, but um, we're still gonna do the video. So let's start off with the highly sought after Phoenix Force Cyclops. Cosmic Phoenix Force Ruler X-Men. You can play him at 295 points or 150 points. Power Cosmic and the X-Men team ability. We have nine range single target, run and shot, special attack power, invincible with a 19 and five damage outwit. Let's take a look at the full pointed trait. Once per game, Cyclops can double power action, place him and any friendly character within Phoenix Force, keyword anywhere on the map, and then end your turn. You can pretty much go anywhere you want, double power action. I don't know if you want to do that, but it's possible you can, and that could be very effective. Okay, Phoenix 5 trait. Friendly characters with the Phoenix Force keyword can use leadership as if they were 400 points. When this character is KO'd, choose a combat value not chosen this game for this trait. Modify that value by plus one on all friendly characters with the Phoenix Force keyword. All right, so when you when they die, they help themselves, the others out. Just kind of like in the comics. We're beloved, they're mistrusted. Adjacent friendly characters with the X-Men keyword modify their attack values by plus one. Opposing characters with the Avengers keyword modify their attacks by negative one. <laughs> so this guy does not like the Avengers and uh, I don't think the Avengers are gonna like him too much either. He also has a special attack power as you see there. Phoenix Force Blast. When Cyclops targets in a character with a range combat attack, the area of the effect includes all opposing characters within two squares. So it kind of does like this big old bomb type of thing. You may divide Cyclops damage among all hit characters and you may knock back any hit character two squares. Run and shot, do this Phoenix Force Blast. They're gonna love it. Yeah, they're gonna love it. Cyclops is pretty good. I, I like him quite a bit. Let's take a look at his 150 point starting click. This is his starting click at 150, run and shot, pulse wave, and vulnerability, range combat expert, four damage. Still pretty good though. And we have Neymar, Atlantis, Cosmic, Phoenix Force, X-Men, 295 points or 150, Doom, which is wild card, power cosmic as TA, nine range, one target. He starts off with Hypersonic and Quake. 19 impervious and five damage uh, special power. Let's take a look at that real quick here. All squares at Neymar's level of elevation or lower in rows from the edge of the map that your starting area is the closest to. Through the row Neymar occupies are water terrain in addition to other terrain. So basically he just floods the map wherever he goes. Uh, pfft, that's pretty gross. He also has the 295 point trait, but this one also has a trait, Phoenix 5 opposing characters target by friendly characters with the Phoenix 5. Phoenix Force keyword subtract one from their D6 roll when using impervious. Shape change, Phoenix 5 opposing characters targeted by friendly characters with the Phoenix Force keyword subtract one from their D6 roll when using impervious. Shape change, Super sensitive. When this character is KO'd, choose a combat value not chosen this game for this trait. Modify that combat value by plus one on all friendly characters with the Phoenix Force keyword. He makes it so that your opponents, when they roll shape change, super senses, and impervious, they get a negative to their roll. So if they roll a five, you subtract one, then they get a four. So guess what? They miss. <laughs> so it's uh, pretty nasty. They basically can only get it on a six, which is really difficult. He also has a special attack power because he has everything. Fire and water. Neymar deals penetrating damage to characters occupying water terrain that can't use either the flight or swim ability. Because he has that special damage power, there's gonna be a lot of water on the map and this is gonna help give, make it so that his damage is penetrated. So this is his 150 point start and dial. He has charge, quake, 17, invincible, four damage, perplex. Still good, all of them are really, really good. Colossus, Cosmic, Excalibur, Phoenix Force, X-Men. He has the uh, 295 point traded uh, Courageous once per game, double power action, move characters, like I said before. He also has his own Phoenix, 
five trait when a friendly character with the phoenix force keyword would take damage you may transfer up to two of that damage to one of the other friendly characters with the phoenix force keyword as unavoidable damage hmm okay but you know it could come in handy when this character is ko'd choose a combat value not chosen this game for this trait modify the value by plus one on all friendly characters like they all have that part to them he also has a special on movement Colossus can use charge, run a shot, and ignores blocking terrain. Whew, jeez, that's crazy. He's not nice. He's got super strength, and I believe that's impervious with five damage, 19D. Nine range, single target. Let's have a special damage power later on in the dial. Phoenix effect. When Colossus hits a character with a close combat attack, and that character isn't, and that character isn't knocked back, after the action is resolved, deal one penetrating damage to that character and each character along that direct line of fire. Whoa! So if you hit a character with a close combat attack, great, right? And they don't get knocked back, which a lot of times they don't get knocked back. They don't get knocked back, you deal that character penetrating damage, and then you deal one t penetrating damage to each character along the direct line of path of that hit. So you go straight back, um, and if it hits someone, they take one penetrating damage. He is gross. I don't like him. He's mean. Uh, let's see what his 150 dial looks like. All right, so this is what his 150 point dial looks like. Charge, super strength, 18, invincible, four damage special. That's, uh, that's the power that does the penetrating damage. It's really good. I could see starting him with that right from the get-go. Because you're going to hit someone, they're not going to get knocked back. Then you're going to take another click of uh, penetrating damage. <laughs> Whew, that's so mean. We have to skip Emma, but we'll just move on to ma Magic. It's still good. Don't hate me. Okay, let's see. Magic, uh, 295, 150. She has also the special 295 trait, like I was talking about, though Power Action 1. She also has her version of the Phoenix 5 trait. Other friendly characters with the Phoenix Force keyword can use Mystics TA. Okay. <laughs> now they all have Mystics. Wow, crazy. When this character is KO'd, choose a combat value not chosen this game for this trait. Modify the value by plus one on all friendly characters. So obviously you can see once you, you play a lot of these and the, once they die, they start bo boosting up the other's uh, stats, which is really good. Running shot, energy explosion, 12 attack, 12 movement, 9 range, 2 targets. Wow, she has 2 targets. The other ones have single targets. She is Mystic's Power Cosmic, and she has a special on defense, Limbo on Earth. M Magic can use barrier and invulnerability, so she has invulnerability. Wow. She can use barrier as a free action, but when she does, she may only place 2 blocking terrain. So, you can pretty much have two barriers for free. That's, I like that. So barrier and involve, I think that's good. Then we have a special damage. Magic can use probability control. When magic attacks an opposing character, the area of effect includes all untargeted opposing characters within range and adjacent to the square, and adjacent to a square block and terrain. Deal one, the hell worms will eat well tonight. Magic can use power. Magic can use probability control. When magic attacks an opposing character, the area of the effect includes all untargeted opposing characters within range and adjacent to a square block in terrain. Deal one penetrating damage to hit untargeted characters. Oh boy. That's confusing. I don't really know how that works, but it sounds gross, and uh, yeah, my brain's melted right now. Let's take a look at the LEs from this set. We have Colossus and Kitty Pride, 158 points, X-Men TA, zero range, no uh, targets, obvious. They have ignores hindering terrain as improved movement. They have charge, super strength, impervious, four damage special. Let's take a look at their special on damage. Modify their attack values of adjacent opposing characters by negative one. That can really hinder your uh, opponent there. 
They also have special on attack, run, Colossus, and Kitty Pride can use charge. If they have exactly one action token, they can use it as a free action. So free action charge, wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. I have a special on damage. Colossus and Kitty Pride can use super stretches. Colossus and Kitty Pride can use super senses and toughness. Wow, they are really good actually. I uh, they look good too, and uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And we have Nightcrawler, Age of Apocalypse, Future, and X4. Bamf is the special improved movement. Ignores walls, characters, hindered train, and elevation. Looks pretty cool. Sword, you know, looks like the one from the Excalibur team base, but with the X Force costume, which I kind of like that. I'm happy with that. Uh, hypersonic, super senses, two damage, special attack. Let's see what the special attack is. Nightcrawler can use precision strike. Ooh, if you know what that is, that's good. It can't be evaded. Yeah, you like that. If Nightcrawler hits an opposing character with a critical hit, choose a power that character can use. For the rest of the game, that character can't use that power. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. So you just steal a power if you get a critical hit. You know, it's kind of difficult to do that, but if it happens, you'll enjoy your... Uh, for 99 points, this is what you get. So, uh, you know, it's not the worst. You get a Nightcrawler. It's not the broken one you used to play with, but one that you can play and not feel as bad about and your opponents won't be so upset isn't that what we want let's take a look at the object a relic four through six when a character would be ko'd instead turn its dial to the last non-ko click and then heal it to damage then remove the relic from the game so you basically get a heal if you get this so it kind of protects you to survive so uh, if you have this when you become KO'd you don't KO and then you actually heal two clicks so uh, I think that's actually really good and it's not that hard it's a 50% chance to pick it up uh, I like this quite a bit you know it's kind of an eight point safety net so when you die I'm coming back and when I come back I get plus two to my uh, health uh, you know, I'm on two clicks higher up and maybe those are really good clicks So you probably want to pick it up with a, a guy that is actually good When it's two clicks from KO. So it's pretty cool. I like it. It's actually kind of fun